Hello everyone, this is Parrish. Today is Wednesday, March 7, 2012, time 12.33 a.m. This video is about the planet Jupiter. Here before you is a website called space.com and space.com today has an article about Jupiter and it's the image of the day actually this was posted yesterday March 6 2012 and this article was more or less had just carried over into the next day which is today March 7 2012 I'll click onto this article uh, the title of the article said up upside down you're turning me and I'll click on this article. Well, it says image of the day. Um, hmm, there's some type of different date here. Well, it says date 24 January 2010, time 12 a.m. And it's about Jupiter. And it's Jupiter, um, the planet Jupiter, have turned upside down. It says here, upside down, you're turning me. And it says Tuesday, March 6, 2012. Now read, it says here, amateur astronomer Damien Peach obtained this image of Jupiter with its moon, Low and Ganymede, on September 12, 2010, when Jupiter was close to opposition. South is up. The great red spot is visible in the image. Sky watchers have a great opportunity to see Jupiter and Venus close together now, moving to their closest position March 12th through 13, 2012. Okay, the planet Jupiter is upside down, was seen upside down. Um, September 12th, 2010. As you see, the red eye of Jupiter is in the upper left-hand corner. And it's funny that um, Space.com had posted this article yesterday on March 6, knowing that this was photographed by this person on September 12, 2010, two years, almost two years ago. Um, let me show the YouTubers what Jupiter normally looks like. Jupiter is supposed to look this way, where the red eye is located in the lower right-hand side of this planet. Now back to space.com and this photograph of Jupiter with the red eye in the upper left-hand corner. I've been studying Jupiter for quite some time. Um, I would say since 2010, almost for like two years, and um, I can see Jupiter, the red eye in Jupiter was always when I used to study, well I'm still studying Jupiter um, currently as I speak, but the red eye is always on a bottom, not on a top. So something apparently had flipped this planet upside down on September 12th, 2010. Um, I only had one dream about Jupiter, which I will show this you. This dream about Jupiter was uploaded by me on November 12th, 2011, and is in my YouTube channel called Captain Parrish. The title of my video is called Parrish Dream, the planet Jupiter 
becomes very bright. Hello everyone, this is Paris Black of the Inner Sea Crusaders and Paris Black, also known as Paris the Prophet. Today is November 2nd, 2011, a Wednesday morning time, 9.53 a.m. This dream is about the planet Jupiter. The first thing I recall about this dream was that I believe I was inside an American inner city and it was nighttime. Next, I decided to look up into the sky and I believe I beheld the planet Jupiter. The planet Jupiter was extremely bright. It was as bright as any full moon that I ever seen. And it was so bright that it was able to cast light upon dark areas that I seen in my dream. Next, I believe I found myself maybe in outer space and not too far away from the planet Jupiter. In any case, I was so close to the planet Jupiter that I was able to see maybe one or two spherical objects cross in front of the planet Jupiter and whatever these items or objects were, they cast a shadow uh, in front of Jupiter. Then I woke up from this dream. But when I woke up from this dream, I felt that a lot of things I seen in my dream pertain to space near the Orion constellation, near the Taurus constellation, uh, is going to become very active. Stars that people here in Brooklyn, New York, uh, have, have been always invisible to us because here in Brooklyn, New York, we don't you know, get a chance to see a lot of stars at night because a great deal of light pollution that New York City emanates. But a lot of my dreams are telling me uh, pertaining to space, you know, what's going on in outer space. What, what will go on in outer space is that the area between Orion and Taurus will light up and a lot of stars will begin to appear. And whatever caused the stars to appear between the constellation of Orion and the constellation Taurus may have some type of effect on the planet Jupiter. Or the planet Jupiter itself may actually ignite and, you know, try to become a second sun in our solar system. Well, thank you for watching this video and have a fantastic day, everyone. Take I believe personally, right now here on March 7, 2012, that a second sun is coming in and it may be in our solar system already and that the second sun has its own mini solar system and I believe that the second sun had affected the planet Jupiter somehow where it tilt Jupiter and <clears throat> since we are since I'm speaking about Jupiter, uh, I uh, remember that I think in 2010 it was uh, some type of incident with the sun where the sun, our sun, tilted or uh, just turned upside down quickly, uh, did a complete 360 degree turn. Um, all I can say is that um, what is coming in is really affecting our soul system, our sun, and these two black shadows, I believe, are moons from the second sun, and this probably explains why I'm constantly having dreams of this red spherical object in the sky, and constantly having dreams about moons zipping past the earth because of the second sun coming out of the solar system with its moons and planetoids. Thank you for watching this video and everyone be good to yourself. Take care.